Hello, my friends, family, esteemed colleagues. Uh, a friend of mine, Peter, sent me um, a video uh, from Stu Peters promoting um, energized health. And uh, he was doing it, or still doing it, and uh, feels great improvements, so he's promoting it. And now the question comes that the protocol is vastly different uh, than mine protocol. And uh, what is the deal? Now, you know, the protocol that uh, I designed is called self healers protocol. But people doing um, this particular program called the Energized Health experience also fabulous results. And what is characteristic for this Energized Health? I cannot go in detail because I would have to pay to receive the information. So this is a big difference already. Unless you pay, you don't get information. Uh, and uh, from the pictures I see, and briefly what I understand by disclosure of uh, Stu Peters, is that people let go of medication. Well, I'm explaining that medication is designed to suppress symptoms and symptoms are in great majority signs of body's toxic release actually signs of healing and uh, the science um, promoted by Cabal, by Rockefeller Foundation, which now is basic science of medical doctors, which I call the science of medicine, has inverted the truth. So instead of calling the symptoms, symptoms of detox and symptoms of healing, they are being called symptoms of disease because, face it, uh, they are unpleasant. Symptoms of toxic blood, headaches, general pain, blurred vision, um, unclear mind, problems with sleeping, problems concentrating, increased body temperature, muscular pains, joint pains, lack of energy. Those are all symptoms of toxic blood. And then combined with this, symptoms of body's elimination of these toxins, detox, are symptoms basically of flu. Well, it's a combination of those two. And the symptoms of flu, symptoms of detox, is usually nausea, fever, sweating, um, phlegm, uh, runny nose, runny eyes, mucus discharge, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, so and foul odor. So these are the basic symptoms of detox of toxic blood not toxin from the body other than from the blood. We can have plenty of toxins. The body can be rid of toxins, loaded. As long as they are not in the blood, we have no clue that we are toxic other than if the toxicity is chronic and interfere with uh, causing cellular acidity and uh, cells are unable or incapable of holding electric charge, then we feel tiredness. 
also toxins in the blood may not be powerful toxins and because blood plasma is low body is not going to be eliminating them because it is worse for body to lower its um, level of plasma in already dehydrated blood thick blood uh, then benefit that will be gained by eliminating the toxins but even though these toxins are not strong they could be plentiful and each toxin serves as a resistor so what resistors do in an electric line they lower voltage so we feel tired now the question is again why this protocol which is easy to follow why the protocol is successful well number one medication is cut off so you are not suppressing body's symptoms of elimination you eliminate but you eliminate slower now how come that people when they give up medication and they start detoxifying how come that they do not get necessity for more plasma well there is necessity but when they drink let's say water even if they put salt on their food they cannot absorb water very well the reason why not is because the cells of the digestive tract they are tight they close the membranes because they are shielding themselves from toxins or vegetables that these people eat because i've seen a picture of recommended diet and you have there uh, even garlic and you have there um, uh, spices so the stuff is avail uh, allowed in the protocol now how come that they can eat this and they feel better well they're not being poisoned by medication so this is a huge lift and then the toxic vegetables are preventing absorption of water so a lot of water stays in the intestine making excrement soft manageable even though their body is low on plasma and needs more water it cannot get it because cells of intestines are closed down and this is what makes them regular they have good bowel movement not because there is vegetable fiber fiber more fiber you have the more problem and harder stool you are going to have unless you manage to maintain water level in there and you manage water level in there because you prevent absorption and by preventing absorption you are not raising blood plasma level so you are not releasing toxins from a tissue and little by little you are releasing toxins from the blood because you are not poisoned now with medication and you feel better feeling better makes you feel better this is raising voltage so now your body has more stable electric vibration and toxins do, cannot offset it so you feel healthier you have a toxic body but you feel better this is common thing many people feel great until the day they die although they are very toxic because you do not feel the toxicity unless it is in the blood and if you are taking something that keeps your cells closed they cannot detoxify so their toxins do not go into the blood the level of toxicity you get from the plants if they are not highly toxic, if they are not medicinal, 
when level is low, just right enough to close the cells. So they don't hydrate, they don't cleanse. You are slowly drying down, but you are feeling good because toxins are not in your blood. It, the concentration is not there. And whatever is there, okay, can make you feel a little bit tired, but with your mind, you can overpower it because energy comes from the heart. And when you don't have a fearful thoughts, you are not broadcasting this out, and the energy stays in the body and it's provided to the cells, to your organs, tissue of adequate frequency, and everything works well. Now, when you are on a cell healers protocol, you actually stop poisoning your body. So you are not poisoning your intestines and cellular membranes open and you absorb freely. And if your blood is toxic, the increased plasma that you are taking now gives the permission to the body to eliminate toxins from the blood. And usually blood is fairly toxic, but it is not eliminating because plasma levels are low. As soon as you start raising plasma level, level you may have immediate detox. So some people, they can drink one glass of plasma and immediately they vomit. Some people, they have to be very toxic to do so. But mostly what happens with people, they drink glass of salty water and they have diarrhea within minutes because they are toxic and just a little bit raise the plasma gives the calculator chance saying, okay, I can, I have to get these things out and this plasma level, okay, they will drop just a little bit because I just got plasma so I can, I can use this much plasma for this cleanse. And you have diarrhea, you eliminate. You have murky urine, you eliminate. But now you have eliminated the problematic toxins. The next day you repeat it, you have a glass of salty water, and what happens? Nothing. You may not even urinate. You, not that you don't have the area, but you may go into constipation because absorption is now strong. Body absorbs, but it needs way more plasma that you have provided. Toxicity level is not that terrible. And the mechanism according to the program, says, great, I need more plasma. And just keep sucking whatever it can, dries your stool, makes it hard and compact, and leads to constipation. This is why during the detox, you only have, of, of toxic body, you only have two types of stools. Hard stool, constipation, or diarrhea. There is nothing in between. Because if you don't provide enough plasma, you are not going to have detox, but body is going to try to suck every drop of the plasma into the blood, constipate you. If you provide sufficient amount of plasma, then body immediately goes to detox, and for the detox, it's using the surplus of the plasma. This is why sometimes people have to drink eight liters of plasma a day or more to have diarrhea when they are highly toxic. Now, the difference here is that, of course, in the energized health, they promote exercising, which is great. You need to breathe deeply, deeply. Body needs movement. Fabulous. So when you start moving, and again, I saw it on myself. I'm also over 68 years old, and I'm mostly sedentary, mostly, 90% of the time. And uh, then I go, I exercise a little bit, just to move, just so my muscles don't look like uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger dragging down, you know, when he stopped exercising. So I have to get my muscles up, and I have to do, a little bit of exercise. 
but then I decided, okay, how about let me try to do jumping, deep jumping, not just a little bit, but uh, squat down and two jump. Well, I thought I'm going to die because my back was hurting, my legs were hurting when I tried to jump and bring my knees to, the, to my chest. It was all. Oh, I could do a couple jumps and I was finished. Next time, I could do twice as many. Third day, I could do 10 and more. And I felt better. Because, you see, we don't get old and we stop playing. We stop playing and our body starts freezing and we start getting problems moving. So, exercising, being active is very important. Not working, because work also uses only certain muscles. My wife is working in a garden all day long, every day, all the time. And walks and is energetic and powerful. I give her weights, she do a couple of squats, next day she cannot walk. Because you are using specific muscles when you do work. And you're using the same muscles. When you exercise, you have to target all the muscle groups. And not only the muscle for strength, but also for movement. Joints, you have to work them, move them. So, of course, if you start watching your diet, even if you just reduce the level of carbohydrates, you add more meat to it. And then use moderately spices. You are basically preventing cellular detox. You are not really rising, raising blood plasma level. The plasma that you drink, the water that you drink, and the soul that your body gets in touch with, mostly through the meat, would be enough to maintain status quo. And clean a little bit the blood from stuff that comes in, Things are not overly toxic, so they don't really bother you so much. So you're not going into detox. But little by little, your blood is becoming a little cleaner. And you start feeling much better because of movement. And definitely, this kind of a lifestyle is going to be um, very beneficial and make you feel good. Doing self healers protocol at the beginning, feels like crap. Because again, it's called healing protocol. And healing cannot be done without cleansing. Because what the energized health does, it's not healing protocol, it's, we can call it curing protocol. To cure, to preserve. But you stop uh, you, you control the blood toxicity by blocking the cells from discharging toxins. And this is going to work great until one day you simply collapse because the cells will not take it anymore and this type of a protocol is not going to work. They promote it also as rejuvenating. This is not correct because your cells continue stay toxic and continue getting more and more toxic and continue getting dehydrated but again we don't feel bad as long as the toxins are not in the blood so we won't see it we won't notice it and this is basically the big difference people often ask oh, Darko, how long do i have to have the diarrhea well as long as you want to cleanse you don't have to go with the protocol further than uh, getting rid of symptoms that bother you. Once when you get rid of symptoms that bother you, when you cleanse a little bit on a cellular level and cleanse a little bit the tissue, you can decide, okay, now I'm going to start having some vegetables and I'm going to start having you know, some uh, spices. I stop detox, but my blood is going to slowly be tolerably toxic, and I will feel good. 
the key word is no medication. Pharmaceutical medication, targeted medication. Although you are using spices, you are achieving similar result, but on a lighter scale. Again, I advise definitely not having garlic because it's highly neurotoxic. Um, ginger is very close to this. Again, not on daily basis. Occasionally you want, I don't know, garlic bread. Okay, have garlic bread, but not daily. And, uh, you know, you can detoxify even on cellular level while eating carbohydrates. Carbohydrates are not toxic. But problem with carbohydrate is that it causes genetic shift. Because every jump in blood sugar, body will react to it like if it is in a stress. It has to release insulin so that the cells absorb this sugar and burn it, use it for energy production, which normally they don't do. Normally, it should be in ketogenic state and use fat. But every jump of sugar be, be, um, uh, above the radar, what I call it, above the uh, designated level, which is only possible if liver releases glucose because of stress or if we eat it. And so that we don't get in touch with glucose through food, the nature is designed that glucose starch is always encapsulated in cellulose. So as long as you eat raw, raw vegetable stuff, you can eat raw banana, raw potato, and your sugar levels are not going to increase because you don't have contact with starch. Because it's within cellulose, you cannot digest cellulose, it just goes through you. Again, you don't trust me, and you think that bananas are going to make you fat, as your nutritionist will tell you, because nutritionists are also a scientist of cabal. They have no clue of, about the truth. You do your experiment. You want to see if banana, they are full of starch, if they are going to nourish you. Eat nothing but raw banana. Don't cook them, don't heat them up. Just raw banana is a fruit. Eat as many of them you want. Don't eat anything else. You can drink plasma and eat bananas because if banana is going to nourish you, it is going to nourish you. And you will see you will be losing weight like you are fasting, even faster because your body will have to try to digest it, so it will lose energy doing so, and no energy comes back, except a tiny bit of fructose which makes it sweet, which your body is going to turn into fat, but it's just a fraction of what it loses trying to digest the stuff. I, I did the walk. I, two weeks, I ate only bananas, plenty of them. And I was losing weight like crazy. And I was constantly with heavy belly, big belly, and hungry. So, try it. Here is, um, I'm, this video I'm making basically just to explain that what I propose, it's a protocol, self-healing protocol. It it is also lifestyle, because if you do this, your body is going to cleanse. It will genetically readjust, realign, and you will actually feel younger, even look younger. Again, many people say, oh, Darko, you are aging terribly. Of course I'm aging terribly. I was seven years, I was experimenting with cacao. Cacao destroyed me. Cacao, I am now uh, half year, or even a little bit more than half year, and now, now it's starting seven months of detox of the cacao. And my skin, 
gets dirty overnight. And, uh, you know, uh, losing hair. Big detox, I'm sweating easily. At night, I sweat because I'm eliminating toxins. I have morning diarrheas. I, I urinate a lot. I'm cleansing, cleansing. How long is this going to last? I don't know. Because seven years, my cells were not hydrating. So they were accumulating stuff, which now they have to eliminate. Same was happening with my tissue because of toxicity of cacao, Peruvian cacao, which they claim is the superfood. We are simply misled. And uh, we all think about these anti antioxidants. <clears throat> the stuff with oxidation, oxidative stress, it's all bullshit. It doesn't work like that. There is no free electron, shifting electron. Those things do not exist. Those are make-up baloney stories. So, uh, again, if you are in pain or if um, doctors cannot help you, nothing can help you, and you are medicated heavily, you can use the self healers protocol, but you will have symptoms of detox, and it is like being sick, like having a flu for some time, even in moments worse, because toxic release is not a steady stuff. Blood, when blood is toxic, cells do not hydrate and they do not offload toxins. So, First, blood has to detoxify, then the receptor, cellular receptor, sends signal, okay, now we can hydrate. So your cells, multiple cells in the body, will take some plasma from the blood and immediately spit out the worst toxins they have, and within a few minutes, your blood will become more toxic than ever. So emergency switch may go on and your heart accelerates to speed up the circulation for offloading. So you, have, you can have all kinds of symptoms. And of course, you will have fever, you will sweat, you will hyperventilate, and your body will be eliminating the toxins from the blood that came from the cells. It's a septicemia, blood poisoning, but not from what you ate in a moment, but from what your cells have released. And it will take you a few hours feeling bad. If you drink plenty plasma at that moment, you help your body to provoke diarrhea, maybe even vomiting. And you cleanse blood quickly, within a few hours, to the level that you don't feel sick anymore. But it may take two days or three days to get blood clean to the level that cells, cellular receptors will say again, okay, blood is clean, now we can again absorb some plasma. And the same thing happens again, but slightly less toxic because the first cellular discharge is going to be the most toxic. Second one will be less toxic. So you go again, maybe you won't have heart palpitation, but maybe you just have blurry vision and you cannot concentrate and you're like like hit like if you are hit with a really strong flu and may take a day or so again to get rid of this before another discharge and this can you know two steps or three steps forward two steps back but little by little beginning is always tough and then as the cells become less toxic, tissue becomes less toxic, blood will get less polluted in the same frame of time, and the detox symptoms will ease down a little bit, and you start feeling better. Now, when you start feeling better, and let's say you did this protocol because of particular reason, you had no energy, you have blurred vision, you could not sleep, and now everything changed, you can sleep, you don't have any more blurred vision, you can concentrate. Well, you can choose, okay, for me, this is enough. I don't want to continue with the detox. 
all you have to do is start eating vegetables which are not overly toxic. Let's say cucumbers, tomatoes, make tomato salad, eat them raw. I still advise not to go for carbohydrates because although carbohydrates will not prevent cleansing, but they keep your genetic misalignment. You are not producing GCMF. You will continue producing Nagalas, which means you respond to pathogens is going to be none. Your white blood cells will have no clue what they have to take out, what they have to attack, because nothing will be marked for them to know what is garbage, what is not. So as long as we eat carbohydrates, we are in that carboholic state when we do not produce GCMF, but we produce Nagalas, or the proper name for this is uh, glycosic hydrolase. Plants produce it. Mammals should not. But we start producing it, or domestic animals start produce it when you start feeding them starch. That is uh, uh, liberated from cellulose, which you achieve by cooking or processing starchy food, seeds, and... Uh, starchy food like potatoes and bananas or uh, legumes. You cook them, you break cellulose, and now this crap goes into your body. But legumes even cook. They have additional toxins. They blow you up. They stink. You know that you are toxic, but we made a slogan. With farts to good heart. Yuppie! Yuppie! Pew! Idiot. This is what we are told, and we are like a sheep. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Beautiful. Okay, so this is the main difference. You can also use hydration. Once when you understand how the body works, you can make it your version of protocol, which basically people always do. Very few people are very strict, me included. Even now when I'm detoxifying, because I know that consciousness is waking up, that soon we are going to be able to control every aspect of our life, which is manifestation, directly, consciously. We will be able to repair our bodies no matter what we eat. Quickly, painlessly. So I'm not so tight even with myself. I don't care much how I look because I know this is temporary state. Even though I feel improvements after this few months of deterioration, I can notice already some effects of feeling and looking better because uh, the main toxins have been released, took six months. Now it's going to go up better and better, even though they are not very strict. I may have strict diet one or two days in a row, and then I cheat a little bit. And then I have again strict diet for a few days, and then I cheat a little bit. There is no problem with cheating if you don't have any major issues. If you have a terrible headaches, if you have migraines, and you want to heal from them, you cannot cheat until you get rid of migraines. And then when you get rid of migraines, cellular memory is there. So when you start loading on sugar and carbohydrates, very quickly my migraine returns. You have to be free of migraines for several years. I see it, how it happened with my wife. She suffered from terrible, terrible migraines, and even his sciatica. And with self protocol, within a few months, all this cleared up. Her joints stopped hurting her. But then, a little bit of wine, 
maybe repeat next day, and pow, headache, because alcohol, again, interferes with cellular hydration. Meningus is still borderline dirty and easily inflammable. And you have some sweet or some alcohol, and quickly it inflames and gives you headaches. Again, knowing the body, knowing how it works, then you can play a little bit. And this is why, you know, if you want to cheat, if uh, you have passed over the griddle and you feel good now and you don't care about feeling much better, you just like to enjoy your life with the food and stuff, now you can contact me and I, I can give you some tips. Uh, but if you have been in a bad situation, I recommend stick to the protocol until you really feel great and there is no problems. And then when you have cheating days, you can cheat with whatever you want one day, two days, and stop. Boom. Go cleanse. And if you go and repeat the bad behavior for more than two days, your cellular memory kicks in very quickly and says, okay, we are back on it, so let's go. Again, program quickly genetically, ta 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 ta. This is how we deal with this environment. And you'll have the same problems as you had before you started protocol. I hope that uh, this helped you clarify certain things. And, uh, you know, see you in the next video. Thank you for listening. Love you all. And remember, at the end of every video, there is um, um, information how to get to my site, where you have information of my email if you want to contact me, and um, a lot of articles because I publish two articles a day, uh, uh, a week. Uh, and in a search window, you can always type in uh, the theme of your interest and articles will pop out that you can read about it and uh, learn the truth. All right. Thank you. Until next time. Love you all. Namaste.